What's good YouTube? It's Coast back here with another video, man. And today, I'm gonna show you how to have a better win percentage in NBA 2K22. So this video will basically consist of me giving you guys a few tips on how to get better at the game or just better at 2K in general. And just to show you guys that I'm not lying, here are my win percentages right here. I have an 88.4 in park, 94.7 in rec, 86.6 in 3v3 pro am, and 105.5 pro am. Like you guys get the idea and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I don't even play serious like that I play with IRLs too I play the game and have fun at the end of the day I'm not gonna just be go try harding all day ducking people not nah, that's not what I do but if you guys are new man I really do appreciate it. if you like and subscribe bro the support's been at an all-time high recently but anyways I want to hold you guys any longer let's get into the video I'm sure for all of us 2K players out there, at some point, we've had teammates who have been horrible. Whatever word you want to use, it just makes you want to do this. But I'm here to tell you I've found a solution. A few pretty good solutions, actually. So number one, which I actually do myself a lot of the time, you go to Antioch or stage, whatever you want to call it, and you see all those people standing around by the door, right? You can go ask different people in stage to just run and park it doesn't have to be staged and the reason why this method is so good is because all the other people standing there they're looking for players too and not to mention stage actually doesn't count towards your record so all those people who just sit in stage and like to play it all day they typically don't have the best records and if you yourself are not the best at 2k then you will have similar win percentages and if they're ever trying to run park or anything you guys would most likely be compatible. And another alternative, which is good, is that you could make a group chat of just people you know, or people you've ran with in previous 2Ks, and you could title it like a rec group chat, a little park group chat, just asking for people to run. And once you keep me more people and building it up, by the time you'll know it, you'll have this whole big ass group chat like I have. And, it, and for me, it's been pretty successful. Like you could see how my rec record just went from nothing to that. So I mean, obviously having the right people to play with will definitely influence your park record and just overall attitude towards the game. It's definitely a really good first solid option to use in order to increase your win percentage. Okay, so this one's pretty self-explanatory. Just stop running from good people. Just fucking stop, man. Why are you running? Like, how are you ever going to get better at 2K if you just hop off against anyone who has, like, above a 50 win percent? Like, I played with the kid. It was about a few weeks ago. This guy had a 94 win percentage in park. He was just standing next to me, and he was a guard. So I'm like, okay, you want to run? And he joins me because I guess I have a decent one as well. This guy was like, okay, I ain't trying to lose, right? Then goes around to every court, and I'm not, I'm not even kidding you. He goes on his phone, checks the win percentage of every person on the court, and I swear these kids had like a 48 win percent. They're horrible, right? And like two people with high win percentages and just whatever the right builds, you shouldn't lose, right? So we play these kids on about two or three courts. This is the worst player I have ever seen in my life. I wish I had the footage. I apologize to you guys, I don't. But this guy was so horrible, bro. And he was blaming it on everyone else. He was shooting like fucking two for eight, whatever the hell it was. And legit, he, we went to, I think two different parks to find someone who had like a 30 win percentage and we still lost. That's how bad this kid was. So clearly this kid just sits around all day on his fucking phone and picks and chooses who he wants to play and if you have a good win percentage that way that does not mean shit like i said earlier from the point before stage does count towards your record so not every good player is the best win percentage and it's not the end all be all type of thing you guys know what i'm saying but anyways point is you're never gonna get better if you keep running from good people especially if you have the lineup for it and just everything set and you're still running oh hell nah I mean here number three and four are pretty connected um just playing your role in general no matter what build you are you have to work as a team right and you can even have an ego and all and i'm probably not the best person to be telling someone to play their role because you've seen clips of me just literally isoing on the center even though that i do make them sometimes it does backfire like you have to play your role and just have iq 
make the right play always or if you you can have an ego and shit like that but stuff like that can backfire and if you really want a good one percent i'm just telling you how i see it so the last tip guys is having a build that can gel well with the other builds around you or just any build in general it's been no secret the last few years some of the builds that have dominated 2k and the right builds are the best builds you know the play shot and the 6-8 glass clearance this year were pretty good paint beasts i'm not saying to have those builds by any means i'm saying having a decently or somewhat meta build that can score or literally just any build that matches well you need shooting you need rebounding like you guys know what i mean just thinking logically to the game of basketball 2k is not that much different obviously it's a lot more arcadey but you still gotta think the same way that you do in real life but yeah that's really the last tip i can give you guys so hopefully those tips help out you guys obviously not the most entertaining video i'm just here to give you guys some tips or just help any new 2k players or just any 2k players in general i mean like i said i'm playing this game for fun and i've had a bit of fun on my team recently i'll definitely be releasing more content in the next coming weeks but anyways guys that's all for me and all as always until next time peace